with the introduction of chapter 4, Fortnite is looking better than ever, but how about if you're trying to run it on Molo and PC? Well, in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how I managed to run my game on 100 FPS in an actual game, guys, only using integrated graphics on a low end laptop for around 200 bucks. You're probably asking yourself right now, this is not possible. Like, I mean, 100 FPS on a low end laptop in creative is not as hard to achieve, actually, but I think everyone knows, especially if you're trying to play the actual battle royale, it's super hard to run. Well, guys, I found a way how I managed to make my game look like this right now here on screen and run at around 100 FPS. And to be fair, the game is looking quite good, right? You're probably asking yourself, wait, this can't be possible. Well, guys, I used a bunch of methods where I combined a stretch resolution, a few in-game settings, and also additionally a mode which is available for integrated graphics to make my game look and run like this. In creative, it was even better and it was so smooth that I even could do quad edits, which is kind of weird because we have to imagine these are integrated graphics on a Ryzen 3 processor. These are like not crazy specs, so therefore this should actually not be possible. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe and let's get straight into this topic. So guys, in the first place, I of course built up my setup here. As a quick explanation, we're using a Lenovo IdeaPad, which I got for around 200 bucks on a Black Friday sale, so therefore it's really nothing special. This is just like a casual office laptop, basically, you know, if you're maybe trying to do some work on it, it's like school stuff, this is probably the best you can go for around this budget. What I of course did in addition is buy like a super cheap cooling pad. I think this one was like seven or eight bucks and you just simply plug it in there, guys. You know, the laptop is not sitting on the table, so air can actually circulate and just overall makes your gaming experience a lot better because your laptop is not overheating. I can highly recommend them. Then this next step, guys, this is already super important. I opened up my AMD Catalyst. And what a lot of people actually don't know, even integrated graphics on the AMD side have a ton of customizability. You can turn on AMD's own boost mode, which is of course gonna give you better performance in games. You have even something like image scaling, which is usually only available for full on GPUs. So therefore that's actually kind of crazy. And just in general, I made sure that I turn up everything which is somehow needed to give me better performance in games. Also super sampling instead of multi sampling. This is just like something how textures kind of load and especially for Fortnite, it will give you a huge benefit. Then this next up guys, what I did is actually I went into my game user settings and just normally applied a switch resolution, which was actually 1280 times 9. 960 and as you can see you just only have to apply it for your resolution sizes x and y and the last user confirmed one and this will basically work on any laptop especially on like smaller displays i know there are like tons of issues with search resolutions but this one is safe 100 this one perfectly fitted especially for my resolution here on my display so what we now have already is we improved the amd settings we applied a stretch resolution and now is the most important part i actually went in game guys and i put my 3d resolution to 30 percent and usually most people who play like fortnite on pc would say wait 30 percent that's gonna look horrible well guys take a look right now here on screen this is exactly how it looked like on my specific laptop and this is due to the fact that we actually enabled the scaling mode in AMD setting themselves and also that the laptop screen itself is a tiny bit smaller than like a normal screen which makes it actually really playable guys like I mean this does not look like 30% 3D res and 1280 times 960 and the coolest part about it is it was super smooth guys actually when I was playing creative as mentioned I can do like quad edits all that stuff I had no issues whatsoever then I even hopped into the normal BR game and on average I had like around like 100 FPS in buildings even more like 144 160 on integrated graphics guys it's actually crazy you have to think about it i'm not looking into the sky i'm not loading into an empty creative map where's basically nothing this is like actually what you get in game 80 to 100 fps which is 100 playable on a device like this so therefore if you're running right now a low-end pc or a low-end laptop try this out 100 most integrated graphics nowadays have crazy optimization steps and if you want me to do more content like this, let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're super close to 70k subs, and I would highly appreciate that. And now don't forget to check out the latest two videos, guys, where I'll show you how you can optimize your Fortnite even more.